Good morning and a very warm welcome to a radical new way of doing business. I'm Frances Mennering, Chief Executive of Virtual Expos New Zealand, or VENS as we like to call it, and I'm thrilled and really excited to be bringing this launch to you today. VENS um, was formed late last year by a group of Wellington business people. I hate to admit the length of experience we share. I believe it's something over 100 years. Our, our, we cover um, everything from international trading, um, staging successful events, to product and market development. We've also been involved in National and Regional Economic Development Agency. So we have a good understanding of the issues facing New Zealand businesses, particularly in this difficult time now. Um, we're delighted to say we've joined forces with American company Expose2 um, and we will be acting as their exclusive sales agent in New Zealand. Expose2 are one of a, lead, a group of pioneering firms who are leading the charge in virtual events technology. The first question people generally ask us about um, virtual technology is, OK, so what? And the answer is, well, it's different. There's heaps different about it. Um, we, virtual technology enables so many things that we couldn't even imagine in the past, and the business case is really beginning to make itself from the statistics we've seen. Going virtual gives you an instant global presence, no more tyranny of distance. Going virtual puts you in the same space as the decision makers without leaving your desk. Less cost and less disruption to your business. Going virtual offers an instant and pain-free way to reduce your carbon footprint. Great for the planet, great for your business profile, and the list goes on. Skeptics often say that they don't imagine ever replacing the face-to-face -face experience. We'd really like to challenge that. But the internet has offered a whole series of solutions for, for different business experiences that people would have thought unimaginable even several years ago. Um, in addition to staging our own, um, we we're also going to stage our own events, and we believe our flagship, Expo's, Expo NZ, when it launches later this year, will be a world first. Our vision is to create a, spa uh, to create a showcase for the very best of New Zealand so that we can show our substance and innovation and success story to the rest of the world. Today, we're very fortunate to have two thought leaders in their own fields. Peter Salmon, Managing Director and Founder of the Moxie Design Group, is often referred to by commentators as a green entrepreneur. I think that's something Peter might take issue with, as he feels that perhaps the terminology around green issues needs some re rethinking. Steve Strickland is President, um, Chief Executive and Founder of Expose2. We're also really happy that he's just recently become a Director and Shareholder of our own business. Amongst so many other things I could say about Steve, he is actually a significant impresario in both real world and virtual trade fairs. So please don't hesitate to ask Steve any questions you might have. He really does have the best handle on the future in this emerging technology. And finally, we'd just like to say while you're here, this site is, this demo site is only, only a taste of what could be. Imagine as you're looking at it, a very range of halls filled with booths promoting New Zealand's capability and technical expertise to the rest of the world. We'd like to thank you very much for joining us today and welcome to the future.